Hi everybody, this is Nikki and I am here to do a video that is my personal experience, personal opinion, not to be used as medical advice. Um, I thought today that I would do a video on um, minimum delivery and kind of some basics about it, what it is, how you can see it, um, and what its effects have been for me. Um, it won't be true for everybody and they're not all bad, they're also not all good. Um, but I thought I would talk about minimum delivery today. Um, so in order to do the video, I thought it would be best that I go back into auto mode. I currently am not in auto, mo auto mode very much. Um, I'm trying to figure out what it's doing um, and making some progress on that. But I'm just not all that comfortable going back in until I have a better understanding. Um, <clears throat> and I am learning how to watch it. And that's part of what I was going to show you guys today. Um, so... So um, I am in auto mode and I'm going to show you guys a maybe an example, definitely an example of minimum delivery because I've been in it since I've uh, gone into auto mode. And then I was hoping to show you an example of the micro bolus. Um, I have had three sugar tabs or glucose tablets um, just starting the video. And I'm thinking that it probably by the time the video is up, it might give me a micro bolus. Um, and if not, now you know, because I just told you that was the plan. Probably could have kept that one down. Okay, um, anyway, so what is minimum delivery? Um, minimum delivery is the name of the period of, of an absence or a near absence of microboluses, which, which is an, um, an absence of insulin. Um, minimum delivery, some people believe that two and a half hours defines minimum delivery because at two and a half hours, your pump is going to ask you for a BG and basically um, is checking in to make sure everything's okay. And, and until it gets that BG from you, it's going to put you into safe basal, um, which is a very interesting existence, um, but that's another video. Um, so after two and a half hours, if you, if you have not given it a BG, you're gonna go into safe basal where you can remain for up to 90 minutes. Um, prior to that, uh, it can be anything from probably about 10 minutes because I think that really what defines minimum delivery is a missed microbolus um, and they come every five minutes. So I'm guessing, let's say you have one missed microbolus, well that might mean that you're in minimum delivery and it can go up until that two and a half hour beep that it's going to give you. Um, so I'm, so I'm going to say in my mind then anywhere between 10 minutes and two hours and 25 minutes or I guess probably two hours and 30 minutes um, is, where, is, is how long you can be in minimum delivery. Um, I think that they say that 0 0.025 per hour or something like that is basically what it takes to kind of make up minimum delivery. Um, I also read somewhere that it, it's just a suspend. I mean, that's what it, it's, it's just no, it's no insulin whatsoever. Um, either way, it's a negligible amount. And so for all intents and purposes, it is no insulin. Um, so it is no insulin. And if you are like me and you're an insulin dependent diabetic, it is no insulin and it's something to keep in mind. Um, it's also something to keep in mind that it can happen for short periods of 10 or 15 minutes, which is like if you disconnected your pump for a minute to jump, well, not a minute, you know, for 10 minutes to jump in the shower. Um, but it can also be an hour or an hour and a half or two hours. And so you have to imagine suspending your pump or taking off your pump for that amount of time. Um, okay, so how do you know it's occurring? And this right here is the very interesting part for me because you don't, um, you don't. The pump is not going to alert you that you're in minimum delivery. It's not gonna alert you that you've come out of minimum delivery. So without having learned a behavior where you kind of keep an eye on it, and that's not to say that it's not gonna work for you, um, but it's just, it's like children, you know, and if they're in your house, you better learn how to keep an eye on them because the quieter they, they are, you know, the more potential for some serious damage that, that could be done, um, and, and such as minimum delivery. So you can keep an eye on it, and there are two ways. Um, and I just realized that my, my blood sugar is a little low for this video, not dangerously slow, but a little low, which is why I'm, you know, like this. But I'm not probably not going to get my microbolus before the video's up, but that's okay. Um, I will show you on my screen, first of all, um, what minimum delivery looks like on your actual pump. So this right here, and this is what's funny, between manual mode and, and between a manual mode regular getting full insulin and auto mode minimum delivery, you can't tell the difference on your pump. So um, the reason I say that is because here's when I woke up this morning and I gave myself a BG, a finger stick, right? And I entered that into my pump. 
from here to here, this is manual mode. I know that because I was in it. This is where I entered, uh, alert on low. This is where I entered, well, let me get back there, sorry. Um, this is where I entered auto mode. So from here on, I just haven't gotten a micro bolus. So you kind of had to know where you are in order to use this graph screen. But I know I was in manual mode from 6.30 to 8.30. And I know that that right there is not a dangerous thing. That is all insulin. But here, when I entered manual mode, I mean, I enter, entered auto mode from 8.30, 8.45 on to current, um, to present, this is a minimum delivery. There's no pink boluses, um, no pink dots. Okay. So if I had pink dots, and this is pretty cheesy, but this is what I did, is I printed out a couple of um, my what my pump screen looked like when I took a picture of it and printed it off my printer. Okay, but this is the only way I could show you guys the, the micro boluses. So basically every one of these pink dots is a micro bolus. And where there are no pink dots, which is what you just saw on my graph screen, that means that there is no micro boluses. No micro boluses means no insulin. Um, so these are all little doses of insulin. This is none. Um, here's a couple of small ones. That one's none. Um, so that's, that's what it looks like on a graph screen. I'll talk about what that means. Here's another one. So you can see right here, the further, if you go out to the, the um, six or 12 hour graph screen, everything starts to look smaller. And at some point it, just looks, it looks like a solid pink line, but you can still see the minimum delivery, the minimum delivery. Now remember, as you go further out in time, that's a really long period of minimum delivery. Well, not really long, but that's 45 minutes probably. Um, which when I start getting into 45 minutes, it's going to have an effect. So, and I'll also say about these microboluses, I know this is not the right video, but just because you see a microbolus, it does not mean you're getting full insulin. It could mean a very small amount, in, uh, very small amount of insulin. So when I look at my graph screen and I see these pockets of minimum delivery with some, with some microboluses in between, I'm assuming that those are probably very small microboluses. So really, I could have gone about an hour and a half with very little to no insulin. Um, and then I'll show you guys that in a second. But this is what it would look like on a CareLink report. Um, again, these are like the pink dots. They're just taller, right? So this will show you. And what's nice about this, at least, is you can see kind of the amount, the size of your micro bolus. So you can see these are smaller. Um, here's bigger. And here's minimum delivery at none. Um, so there's minimum delivery at none. There's minimum delivery at none. Okay. Um, good enough. So those are the ways that you can see it. I'm still in a micro bolus. Um, those are the ways that you can see it on your graph screen and on Carolink. And the reason I think that one should be looking for it, or at least the one, the reason why I needed to look for it, is because depending on how long I had been in minimum delivery, I could really see a, a big climb in my blood sugar following that period. And it wasn't always immediate because as we know, insulin and the effects of insulin and no insulin take a little bit of time to kind of unfold. Um, so it might not be... 15 minutes later, I mean, it might be an hour later or an hour and a half later where I start to see these kind of climbs. Um, and in fact, on this graph screen, you'll see there's the minimum delivery, as I said. And then back here, up here, I guess, is where you start seeing, which is really an hour, two hours afterwards, I guess probably two hours afterwards that you really start to see this climb. Um, that climb sometimes could not stop until at 350. Um, and that was, and again, a two and a half hour period of minimum delivery um, often really, you know, did a number on my blood sugar. Overnight, not quite the same thing because sometimes that overnight, that minimum delivery is what was helping me not go into hypoglycemia, which is fantastic. It's why I think a lot of people love the pump for, for overnight. But it brings you into the next problem, which is another video, which is that morning BG rise, because all of that missed insulin overnight, it was really nice to help me keep my blood sugar down, you know, I'm sorry, up. But when I go into the next morning, that can be tough. Um, okay. Anyway, so how do you see it? What can it cause? Um, here's some of the more kind of theoretical type questions, because I don't really know that there is an answer. Definitely, I don't have the answer, but I have a couple of ideas, of course. And that is, um, will everybody experience equal amounts of minimum delivery? I don't have any idea, but I don't think so. Um, I think we are all very unique and I think every minute is unique. I mean, it's gonna depend on what you've eaten, what your insulin on board is. Um, it's the, the minimum delivery is a part of your auto mode, um, automated delivery. 
So it's taking into effect, sorry, taking into consideration all this information, including your insulin on board, your recent carbs, your, um, it's the magic, whatever, uh, in Medtronic, somewhere deep inside Medtronic, um, that is, is making that decision. So I don't think we're all going to affect, I mean, uh, sorry, I don't think we're all going to get the same amount. Um, and in fact, I don't even think one person day to day is going to see the same thing, which brings me back to settings changes. And if we don't have ever a consistent basal rate, how are these setting changes going to help and potentially not hurt? But that's another video too. And now I'm 10 and a half minutes in. So the last thing is what are the, um, is there a way to avoid it? Um, I, you will see it at crazy times. And this is the other problem, but this is, this is also part of the problem with minimum delivery is that sometimes it's fantastic. For instance, right now my blood sugar is low clearly cause I can't even talk without, you know, mumbling. Um, but the, but sometimes I will get minimum delivery at a much higher blood sugar and it has to do with whether or not my, my blood sugar is trending low. And in fact, whether or not my sensor value is trend, trending low and the sensor data. Um, so I could see minimum delivery at a blood sugar of a 180, um, where my SG with that delay is really a 140 and the whole thing is getting jumbled and in the meantime, I'm just not getting the insulin. Um, still might be okay if I have learned to look and watch and I did not get my microbolus. I think my blood sugar is just too low. So, and thanks for watching. I'll show you a picture of microboluses later. Thanks.